incredible historic Indigenous Peoples March that we held here. 2019, we hope it's the first of many, but uh, just incredible speakers, incredible activists, young and old, performers, Congress people, grassroots leaders. It was just amazing from the beginning to the end. And it just was such an honor to be a part of it. The time is now for our voice to be heard, for all the injustices, for all the genocide. We are loving people, we are giving people, but we are strong people and we are still here. Yeah. We seek that liberation, we seek that truth. So never stop, never get weary. There's a hundred new women in that Congress. The energy is changing here. They need to know that they can be as bold and progressive as they need to be. The streets have their back. The res has their back. We are ready to step up. Thank you, brothers and sisters. It's time for us to stand up for the environment. It's time for us to stand up for our people. And I am so proud to be one of the first Native American women elected to the Congress. 240 years we've waited to be represented by Native women. Now we have two. So I'm just really, really honored uh, to be um, connected with people like Chase, with uh, Phyllis Young, and others who have been in this movement for so long and to be part of that ongoing legacy. And I, I'm still, as you could probably tell, I sound a little hyped up, but it's just because we had so much energy today. And I don't think people are really gonna get it till they leave here and process it. <laughs> Thank you, brother.